this is the fight for you because what is really become a master and it's a cut that appears, that appears right to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots. But yeah, and the blood's hit to the ground. That's the best in the world targeted it. This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. Ready to fight. Ready. Well, no shortage of UFC history has been made inside these walls. Good to have you with us from Honda Center tonight here in Anaheim, California. So many big UFC live events in this venue, DC. It's a great arena. It's a beautiful arena, but one that I would gladly never step foot in again. I may be the only guy to lose two UFC championships in this pit of hell that is called the Honda Center. No, fantastic arena. It does not work for me. with the jab on the counter. And that spinning kick found its home up top. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well, that overhand big weapon for him throughout his career. It's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Oh, misses with the jab. Big overhand right. Another right hand lands. Choi gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Whiffs on the right hand. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Just misses with the straight right. What a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Let's go. That one landed clean. Oh, with authority, the body. Going upstairs with the left hook. Another one landed flush by the Korean Super Bowl. Big power shot there. Under two minutes to go here in round one. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Back to the jab now.
like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. All right, he engages in the single follow tie. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Just misses with that one. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, Superman punch! Round two straight ahead. Wow, what a performance in that round. I'm no judge. I'm not sure a 10-8's even enough. Total dominance and nearly got the finish. Total dominance. Almost got the finish. Was able to hurt his opponent on multiple occasions. Didn't put him down now. He just hurt him. But maybe, just maybe, he will find a shot that will put him down once and for all. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly yeah, what, what you want yeah. to see as you're walking back to your school. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. use of the jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that one in DC. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Oh, doing work with the jab. Choi gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Great punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, another brutal jab. If you like boxing and you appreciate the sweet science, his jab is as good as it gets. Yeah, he's the best pure boxer in MMA. He's one of those guys that if he needed to go into a boxing arena, he could still be competitive. It all starts behind that beautiful jab. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice jab. Just over three minutes to go. Check, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. He's getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that. It's he has to evade Stan's face. Oh. Oh, big left hook there. Really nice defense there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. 
Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the gun. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit tough. Joy gets hit with a flush uppercut there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output. And oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Oh, nice job to block the kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, he could be a one-eyed fighter here pretty soon. That left eye is starting to shut. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Oh, big right in. Oh, nice jab. What a beautiful jab landing there. 20 seconds to go round two. Slamming that over now, right flush. Final seconds. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, it becomes impossible. They call that the trickle-down effect. You ready That's to fight? That's what that is? That's right. Ready. <laughs> Good. Now three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. Checks the leg kick. Back and forth we go. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. is so bad like can't the referee stop the fight right now somebody needs to stop it because he won't yeah that's the thing that's the beauty in the fighter he will not quit sometimes you got to go in there and tell him hey man there's tomorrow yeah does not have to happen today well you know this is the hurt business and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight yeah both guys are compromised both guys have been beat up both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Nasty body kick downstairs. Oh, another massive kick. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Fighter lands a kick now, a pretty good one at that. 
Joy gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage. Here. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh, that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Block that punch. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left to right. And Choi is cut above the eye. Beautiful jab there by the champ. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing. That just goes for the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Nice. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. We didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. 20 seconds left. Effective with the jab. What a round! All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 50. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Attack that cut for me. Let's go. Back at the point we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant. Oh! Well, missed on that one. Choice taking aim at that cut right now. 
now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? My <laughs> We might get a stoppage here soon. Oh, huge crowd strikes. Back to his feet. Oh, my goodness. That'll do it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett.